Everyone's favorite Queer Eye star, Jonathan Van Ness, captured fans as soon as the series aired. And I can tell you, well, because I'm a fan myself. Not only is he stylish with his fashion, but Jonathan seems to have great taste in homes too, from New York City to his latest property in Austin, Texas. Queer Eye's lead stars are called the Fab Five for a reason. Whether it's Anthony, Karamo, Bobby, Tan, or Jonathan, you can bet that they're going to pull off some of the most remarkable transformations of everyday people that you've ever seen on Netflix. Of course, with a killer eye for fashion, glam, and design of all types, you'd expect these five men to live in some truly jaw-dropping homes themselves. And you'd be right. Take for instance, Jonathan Van Ness, a self-described homebody. He once told People Magazine, I love to work and entertain, but the only time I really go out at night is if I'm doing stand-up because I'm so busy that time at home is really important to my well-being. Well, what's his favorite way to cozy up? Oh, just by spending his evenings chilling at home with his cats. In fact, for a number of years, Jonathan lived in a pretty spectacular apartment located in the heart of New York City, one that was especially designed in many ways for his feline companion. Jonathan would live there until a business trip for the most recent season of Queer Eye would take him to Austin, Texas, where he would fall in love with the South while lockdown went on, eventually finding a place of his own and moving there soon after. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time checking out the homes of one of my fave reality stars, Jonathan Van Ness. Don't forget to like, Hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Jonathan had already been living in New York City for some time when he finally decided that he needed a bigger place for his growing family. No, I'm not talking about John's husband Mark Peacock who he married during a private ceremony in spring of 2020. Instead, I'm referring to Jonathan's ever-growing collection of house cats. Around the time he decided to move, Jonathan already owned two cats when a new addition to his family would make this change. He told people, I needed a bigger apartment in Manhattan because I had two cats and then I adopted a kitten. I was really struggling as a cat father in a tiny NYC apartment and needed more space for the kid. Hitting the Big Apple's real estate market, Jonathan found himself a two-story loft near Manhattan's High Line Park. Thanks to his very busy schedule, Jonathan didn't have the time to view the place, but having checked out the home's unique layout and design on the internet, he knew that he couldn't pass up the opportunity to live there, and he moved in anyway. Soon after that, he teamed up with all modern designer Maggie Lidecker King to create what he likes to refer as a rustic Miss Honey's Cottage from Matilda-like aesthetic. Working together to complete Van Ness's vision, these two added checked curtains and cozy textiles to Jonathan's living room, which helped cultivate that cabin in the city feel. And because Jonathan feels most at home with his cats, they also worked hard to feline-proof the space in the living room, while maintaining as much of a sophisticated vibe as possible. For instance, while Jonathan really wanted a linen sofa, Maggie convinced him that a leather option would be more durable around his pet. Throw pillows were then added to help add some color and texture. Now, because the majority of this home is largely open plan, that means the living room, dining room, and the kitchen all bleed into one. So, to help establish a visual anchor that separated one space from the next, Maggie also convinced Jonathan to create a gallery wall that shows off a series of art prints from her brands, All Modern. As for that kitchen, it's small but has a whole bunch of storage space, a stainless steel fridge, and most importantly, it's where Jonathan starts off every day with his first cup of coffee. Finally, upstairs in his bedroom, Jonathan and Maggie opted for warmer vibes set against a darker scheme with pops of color emanating from a somewhere over the rainbow art print that Jonathan once found at a flea market in LA. And because the room is quite small to begin with, Jonathan's mattress was placed on a high bed frame to allow for extra storage space when it comes to his seasonal outfits. Floating wall shelves were also incorporated to act as a nightstand to further optimize the space. Now, as you might have noticed from many of these images, Jonathan's home, despite being rather small, is full of furniture. And while some people might see that as a fashion faux pas, Maggie believes the opposite to be true. She told People. People get confused by putting less furniture in a small space, but actually, the lack of furniture makes the space look smaller. Instead, focus on the layout. 
Furniture that's purposeful makes the space feel elongated, so don't be afraid to add additional seating in front of the sofa. Jonathan would continue to live in this apartment for a couple of years until he fell in love with his new home, located about as far away from New York City as it gets. Fans of Jonathan Van Ness might be surprised to find out that he's actually living in Austin, Texas these days after finding a place while shooting season 6 of Queer Eye. But trust me when I say no one is more surprised by this change in address than he is himself. During an interview with Self.com, Jonathan told them, I didn't expect to fall in love with Austin as much when we came here for shooting. And then we came and everything shut down. I had my four cats and was on this lake at an Airbnb and I was like, do I love Austin? Is this a liberal bastion in Texas? And it kind of is. I started exploring and was like, oh my god, I want to move here. Then I found a house and I loved it. So what kind of house did Jonathan find? Well, he hasn't exactly been shouting his location from the rooftops, but over on social media, we've seen more than a few examples of him showing off different areas of his new home. For instance, this one thing he definitely spends the most time doing out in Austin more than anything else, gardening. As for the rest of the house, well, it's anything but boring. Check out this lounge area, which not only has been painted pastel pink, but also features some eye-pleasing blue and white striped carpets. Meanwhile, over in his living room, Jonathan's other fur baby, his puppy, loves to lay around on his pink velvet sofas with cute decorative pillows. Speaking of the living room, it appears to be quite large, featuring not only multiple couches for both humans and pets to lounge around, but also enough space for Jonathan to film his many Instagram clips. Of course, some of those dancing videos have also been recorded in Jonathan's kitchen, considering the fact that his open floor plan leads right from the living room and into his culinary space. Jonathan's Austin kitchen is honestly a huge improvement on his one from New York, with what I say is easily about five times the amount of space but it still carries over the ample storage room and stainless steel appliances he had from the Big Apple. This former college cheerleader also made sure to decorate a whole bunch of his walls with some incredible abstract and vibrant art pieces, all of which were commissioned by local artists. There you have it, as you can see from these sneak peeks inside the homes of Jonathan Van Ness, he really does come by his killer eye for style and design quite naturally. He's also a man after my own heart when it comes to going out of his way to ensure that his fur babies are just as comfortable as he is in their new environment. What do you guys think about Jonathan's homes? Be sure to sound off with your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know if you'd like to see house tours on other members of the Queer Eye cast. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!